Uh, no, I will not. I mean, what I will bring is I will not go over time and I promise not to enjoy it. So, those two things. Strong promises. Well, I'll deliver those promises. You're looking for a little crack of a smile. That's not going to, I just, it's not, I mean, it's been a while. It really has been. Did you, look at it, did you look at the nominees? Are you thinking it's been a successful year for independent cinema here? That seems like a very leading question. Um, it has been another year for British film, and I, I think they're all good. Every single one of them? Well, two aren't, but I can't tell you which ones. <laughs> but that's fine. Out of 75 nominations, for only two howlers, that's not bad. Great, lovely to be here. And so Brooklyn's been nominated for so many awards. It's fantastic. Yeah, Brooklyn is doing extraordinarily well already. Loads of great hopes about it, both for this and for the bigger awards to come. What, what is it special about that film that people love? It's a beautiful story, and it's totally, it, it's romantic without being schmaltzy. It's real, and it's got a central performance that is something else from Saoirse Ronan. I mean, she is a, she's a phenomenon. I, I, I mean, I'm not just saying that. I, acting with her was a privilege. And it's very sparkly. It's got lots of colours in it. It's very festive, I think. I think that's right. It's the right time of the year for it. Congratulations. It's been amazing. It's been a complete whirlwind, especially for the last few weeks, because we've been over in the States with it, you know. And it's just, uh, people have really taken it to their heart, for, for the most part. Um, and I've never been involved in anything before where it's just felt so kind of emotional and personal, even at this stage when you're like selling your film, you know. It's, it's been great. So. Wanting to keep on reading it, and just that thing of a page turner is always the best sort of script. The one where you just, oh my god, oh my god, continual surprise. It's not known where it ends up and it begins, and then a character who you are just uh, very proud to be a part of that film. You know, uh, it turned out uh, fantastically well. I know that uh, Sersha and John obviously are receiving a lot of plaudits, rightly so, for it, and um, I'm excited that people will get to see it. You know. Is it kind of exciting for you? I mean, you can do these small independent films that get nominated here as well and go and do bigger films. So do you like to keep a balance? Is it important to do the small ones? I just, you just want to do different things and different good things. I, I don't think, I, I wouldn't think of Brooklyn even as being a small film, a smaller budget maybe, but I think that its, uh, it's scope is every, big, every bit as big as something as The Revenant or Star Wars or anything like that. It can mean every bit as much to people as, you know, films which cost more. So whatever the story that excites you is the, is the right story to tell. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Once you're done talking, the next show. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at that. He knows me so well. How do you know me that? Was he being nice to you? Yeah, I was actually. You've been nasty. That was a hard question. That's it. What's best is the one I've seen. I've seen films quite many. It's rare that I've seen a film three or four times. Like yeah, everybody got this franchise. So when I when I was invited to join, I was everything. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm really so happy to be back. It's always such a fun event, this, and I get to see, uh, well, I, I saw Donald just now, and um, Alex Garland, who's here, and then the crew from Danish Girl as well, so it's a big reunion. It's a massive reunion, <laughs> is it? We saw that there. Danish Girl, of course, you're nominated for tonight. Uh, very special film that the world's still waiting to actually see. It hasn't actually come out of here yet. So yes, are you we premiere next week. Excited about people finally seeing it. That's always the thing. It's always both nerve-wracking and extremely excited every time you're going to release a film to the world. But um, uh, it's been some wonderful um, experiences when we showed it at film festival, so I can't wait for it to come out properly. I know you... <laughs> well, for me, what is special is to be nominated in... Uh, England with a Shakespeare movie when I'm French. I, re I'm s I have to confess I'm super proud um, to be part of this amazing group and um, yeah that was, that was an amazing experience and um, 
to have this kind of recognition in this country is um, I really enjoy it. Yeah, it pressure's on, isn't there, really, when you're going to do Shakespeare and come to the UK? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I wanted to honor uh, the chance that I had to be part of this uh, movie. And, uh, and I, always, I always wanted to uh, play Shakespeare, but I never thought I would play Shakespeare in English. And it's, uh, it's an amazing chance. A bit of fun. Anytime you're, you know, anything you do is recognised. You know, anything as a kid, as a grown up, you know, a gold star in your English essay or a, you know, nod of the head for a bit of acting, or it's all lovely. I'm very, very grateful for it. And as I said, I'm really glad the filmmakers have, have gotten the recognition because I will say one thing about Yorgos is he puts so much work and so many sleepless nights into what he does. You know, I know we're all very privileged. We're not in the coal mines, so I just want to be clear that I know that, and it's not you know, hard labour. We're not trying to erect a pyramid in Egypt thousands of years ago, but I know that Yorgos, it's a very personal thing for him, and I've seen him psychologically torture himself over the work, so I'm very glad that the film's been recognised. Thank you. First of all, would you actually consider a lobster? I don't know. I think I'd, I think I'd take a bird of flight, probably, probably an apex.